Welcome back, welcome back. What a phenomenal hour. The intention of this show is really to inspire you. The next time you're debating taking that big risk, the rewards that wait on the other side. Our next guest rose from humble beginnings to huge success by betting on herself to build a groundbreaking beauty brand. Regina Merson and her family were driven by dreams. Her family immigrated to the U.S. when she was just 10 years old. And she grew up to graduate from Yale, becoming one of the most successful attorneys around. But even as Regina achieved her goals, she wasn't feeling, she says, fulfilled. So she took the gamble. Here's what she did. She took the money. She'd saved hundreds of thousands of dollars. I'm already shaking. <laughs> then she made a big gamble. No, not at the casino. She left her law career behind, risking all of her savings, every cent of it, borrowing against her home and 401k to start a makeup company. And once again, Regina was faced with overcoming the odds and navigating a new world. Now fast forward four years later, hustle, hard work, and it has paid off huge. Today, Regina not only has an award-winning makeup company called Reina Rebelli, she has the first makeup line inspired by Mexican heritage, celebrating Latin culture. Take a look. I fulfilled my lifelong dream of becoming a lawyer after I attended University of Chicago Law School and practiced for six years. With time, I started feeling that I was losing touch with my community. There was such a tremendous lack of representation in the beauty space, in particular with Latinas, and Latinas are the largest consumers of makeup in the country. And that was what started my journey toward founding Reina Rebelde. The Reina Rebelde collection is really meant to be a celebration of Latina beauty standards and every touch point of the brand from the packaging to the symbols to the names of the shades and the colors that we create are really meant to be a celebration of all of the dualities that live within us. When people wear Reina Rebelde, I want them to feel beautiful and absolutely fierce. All right, Tina Fan, please welcome to the show a master manifester, successful entrepreneur, and new mom, Regina Merson. Good to see you. So first of all, there's a quote that, that was in Forbes magazine that you said, you said, we all get caught in the fear and the doubt that is normal in our heads, but there is a boldness to just doing it. Yes. I love that quote. Thank you, thank you. Okay, but there's just doing it, <laughs> And then there is taking every dollar out of the bank, right. mortgaging against your home, right. and taking your 401k. Right. My stomach hurts thinking Mind us of too. the fear. <laughs> <laughs> Yours is too. Um, what, what made it worth it to literally put every dollar on the line? Sure. Um, well, I, I really wanted to give back to the community. I wanted to empower women. Um, and I, I left my law career because I felt I had distanced myself from that ultimate goal in my life. And once the brand started taking life and I realized I was empowering Latinas and women everywhere who struggle with expressing like their true selves and their dualities, it became very worth it. And once I actually launched and saw the impact I was having on the community, how people were coming up to me saying, you know, it felt so great to have someone like you, um, you know, on a big screen or, 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 or doing something like this was so empowering for me. Me. And that that has made it completely worth it. Well, you know, it's interesting. The brand uh, Reina Rebella, it, it means rebel queen, is okay. translated in Spanish. I didn't realize that there was not a major brand um, fronted by a Latina for the consumers um, in the community to see and appreciate themselves and their own flavor. Right. That was shocking to me. Iman is a great friend of mine. I remember. Iman yes. launching her business, and at the time, that was revolutionary. She's a trailblazer yeah. for women of color. And in, in the Latina space, there wasn't anything like it. Um, it was a lot of top down. It was a lot of like, let's talk down to the community. They'll buy whatever we tell them if we're a big company. Wow. And I always felt from a personal frustration perspective that authenticity really matters. Right. And to really understand a, a community of people or women who have been through difficult things or experienced dualities, it has to come from a woman um, in that space as well. And so that was kind of a big part of the inspiration is we needed something authentic in representing our community. We are the largest consumers of beauty products in the country. Why you then? You know, you, it, it, yeah. the opening is there. Why do you think it was meant for you to do this? I don't think it was necessarily meant for me. I think any woman can take that risk, I guess, is, is what I would say. Um, I felt that I had to really work 
through a lot of, of, of unleashing of like expectations of me and give myself permission to go take this bold, audacious risk. Um, and I felt like, why not me? Yeah. Right? And I well, think- Well, that's what I was getting yeah. at. It's like Nia earlier, she sees Buster Rhyme, why not you? Why not me? You know, I, when I was in college, I remember I had a professor who said, if you think you're gonna just walk in and get a news job, <laughs> think again. And I'm like, I was back in two weeks going, guess who got the news job? Because <laughs> I, because I, and she said it out of love, Dr. Moore, she said it out of love, but I always tell people, if it's a one in a million shot, why can't it, why can't you be the one? Well, why do you have to be the million who don't right. get it? Why can't you be the one? Right, and I think there's a big myth about you have to be exceptional to take these risks. Right. I don't think that that is true. I agree. I think you have to have boldness and you have to be willing to take the risk. But there is, like I said in that in that quote, there's so much energy that, that starts sort of manifesting in your life once you're willing to sort of take that initial step. But it was sort of like, why not me? There's why nothing not special or exceptional about me other than the fact that I was a lawyer and decided to completely revamp and rechange and change course and go start something uh, that was completely unknown to me other than my love of makeup, of course. So, what, so you know, we're talking about risk and rewards. When you start looking at the risks, you do say, okay, how will this affect my income? Also, you're a mom. We actually we actually met at the White House Correspondents' we Dinner. Did. Many, many, I think that I was- I fangirled you. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I appreciate it. That was, actually, that was my very first White House Correspondents' Dinner. I was so nervous and just intimidated by being in the room. And we met when you are a parent now, because, you know, I've been a mom now four years. I have found myself sometimes more risk adverse because Absolutely. I'm like, oh, I got this guy now to yes. deal. You know, my decisions don't just impact me, it impacts him. Sure. How do you process that as a mom when you're taking that risk? Yeah, so at the time that I started, um, I was obviously very innately risk averse. I'm a lawyer, right? That's what we do, we manage risks. Um, but I also didn't have children at the time. Yeah. So it was, you know, and I do tell Would people- Would you have done it if you had the kids? I don't know, I think so. Yeah. Um, but there are these windows of, of, of opportunity and everyone's life. And you, you feel that window opening and you either jump or like you kind of forever hold your peace right. till the next one comes up and you don't know when that's gonna be. Right. At this point, I was in my early 30s. I was childless. I was relatively carefree other than the economic risks I was willing to take um, and really felt like I, I, I needed to do it. And now that I have children, I think it's important for me to model for them that failure is, is okay. Right. And, and that's one of the things, like we can take risks, we can fail. And that's totally okay. You're going to pick yourself back up and put the and, pieces back together. Yeah, and I think as an immigrant, you know, you you feel nervous to fail. Yeah. You feel you're not allowed to fail. I've had to give myself permission to take risks and permission to fail. I love that jump or forever hold your peace. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm going to get a T-shirt that says that when we come back. Regina's going to share some of the products that she launched that set her brand on fire after the break. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Today we're talking about taking a big risk and the rewards that await you when you do that. We've reopened our beauty bar, which we do time to time because I'm a beauty obsessed person. I love to try anything, any products. I'm the queen of samples. My bathroom is a wreck. I admit that. <laughs> uh, still with us, Regina Merson, the founder and CEO of the beauty brand Reina Rebeldi. Her lifelong obsession with makeup led her to take a huge risk, quitting her job as a successful, high-powered attorney, using all of her funds and even borrowing against the home she lived in and tapping into her retirement vest, which I know the risk my heart is pumping. But fast forward four years later, she has this successful, beautiful brand, um, a love story really to her culture and her heritage. I was just reading um, here, it, this, this is so beautiful. In the, inside the makeup it says, uh, Raina Rebeldi unapologetically celebrates our many powerful dualities with products that are as beautiful as they are fierce. Do you feel fierce when you take a leap of faith like that? Yes, you feel very fierce because you have to pump yourself up. You have to psych yourself up yeah. all the time, right? To to do something and to take a, a big risk. But we yeah. have with us Lisette, our model, Anna, our makeup artist. I'm actually wearing one of your lip colors. What, what is it called again? Entrufada. Entrufada. Uh -huh. What does that mean? Electrified. Oh, hey. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's, okay, I like that. So a lot, of, a lot of the colors and names are dedicated to the fierceness. What's your right. favorite color or name? Uh, Brava, which is a, a lipstick we're gonna demo, is one of mine, and it means lady on fire. Oh. It means feeling fierce. Um, lady so on fire, you're gonna show us with the lady on, I, I know I've yes, mixed up the but order. Yes. But the, because the red lipstick has meaning for you, the bright lip has yes, meaning. Yes, the bright lip, um, for years as a Latina, I was told to wear this like mushy, 
bricky red. And I was like, this doesn't make me feel any kind of way. We need a red that makes me feel energized and powerful, which is what a red lipstick's supposed to do. Yeah, it's supposed to go pop, 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 yeah, not so pop. <laughs> I spent three years uh, creating a red uh -huh. lipstick that looks beautiful on every skin tone that's energizing oh. and powerful. Um, and it was actually the, the shade that put us on the map. Okay. Um, this became an award-winning, best-selling red lipstick. Oh, go um, ahead. You can, yeah, you don't Perfect. have to. So one of the things about applying red lipstick is that it has to be super crisp. We love a pop of color for summer. It's ageless. Uh, it's timeless. But one of the big tips that we like to say is to make sure to outline your lips with the actual lipstick first and mm -hmm. allow it to set before you fill in the rest of your lips with, um, with the lipstick itself to prevent migration and feathering. Why do you think red is such an intimidating lip color? Because even poor Raul, my makeup artist, he will try to put me on red and I'm like, ooh, I don't know, I'm not ready. Because women love to like apologize for, oh. for being loud and being in the room. And red is a notice me type of color. And one of the things, yeah, one of the okay. things, yeah, one of the things we want is, for the, all the ladies are now yeah, looking at their friends going, it, do yeah. we have red on? Yes. So <laughs> We're we, going to go to commercial break. Everybody's going to have a red lip after this. Yes. <laughs> so we really want with the, the rebel and the queen feel is to show up and, and, and make yourself known, right? Yeah. And that, that should be women of all ages and all skin tones. It should be people of all ages and all skin tones. So we, we love that. Like, show up and let the room know that you're there. Let the room know you're there. Yep. Um, your finishing powders are also very, very popular. What yes. did you tap into this? What's the secret here? So, you know, for summer skin in particular, we're dewy, we're hot. A finishing powder is a great way to sort of blur the lines and mattify and set your lipstick. The key with powder, and this powder I love because it's moisturizing. It has rose oil and avocado oil, which is native to Mexico. Um, but you have to powder with purpose. Our celebrity makeup artist, Ana Siguenza, is showing how she is powdering the T-zone to still allow some dewiness to kind of come through. I love powder with purpose. I've never yes, heard that. Yes, powder with purpose. You don't put it all over your face and right. look like, Matt, you don't, you don't want to look right. like a doll, right? You want to look natural. And as you can see, Lisette came on stage. She was not wearing powder. And we're just literally powdering the T-zone and very strategic what's the What's the product that surprised you that took off? <clears throat> we have an amazing uh, bright blue eyeliner called Bonita Bandera that we mm -hmm. did in collaboration with uh, a Puerto Rican influencer, Viva Glam K, and it was a celebration of Puerto Rico. Oh, um, wow. We feel that within the Latina umbrella, we have all these different subcultures, and the Puerto Rican community doesn't get enough love, right. we felt. So we really wanted to I amplify like that. that voice within the community. It's a bright blue eyeliner, and it took off like, like crazy. Wow, well, you look beautiful. Congratulations on so this, Lizette, Anna, thank you. And guess what? Because she is a woman who loves to give back, Regina is sending our entire audience home with bold lip color stick on your face and eyes palette and the Rebel Eye Definer liquid so that you can create your unapologetic, beautiful, risk-taking moment of your own. Congratulations.